Right, hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu and in this masterclass, we will be covering all about flows and flow builder. That's right. So this is a brand new curriculum that I have been preparing for a long time and I'm wanting to put that forward in front of you. And uh, thank you for all the love that you have been showing on the content, especially the Experience Cloud video. That was a good three hour long video, but uh, I got a lot of positive feedback in terms of how I was able to put forward that content and you were able to access it and consume it in a way that it helped you some way or the other. Similarly, what we'll start doing with this particular masterclass and this curriculum is we'll talk specifically about the flows, the flow builder and towards the end of the curriculum, what I'll try to achieve is that if you are someone who's looking at this set of videos or the entire masterclass, you should be able to write, configure and automate any business use cases using flows right? That is something that is my end goal with this particular masterclass and I would request you to look at whatever is theoretical as part of what I'm explaining and then whenever we jump into use cases let's try doing that together right so what, when I show something to you let's not just look at it but you can have your own developer edition org open and you can try the same out in your system with your own hands and your own mouse clicks and your own keyboard types right what that will do is instill confidence in terms of yes I am also able to create a flow I am also able to build a flow and yeah this works testing is important so we'll test out everything that we built but yes once you do it on your own instead of just seeing it on a video that that boosts your confidence to a whole different level right so that's the primary agenda with this particular flow builder masterclass what i'll be doing is i will be recording this pretty much in a straight set but i'll be releasing two sets of videos here one would be a collection of en the entire masterclass that would be again a two, three hour video maybe, or maybe more, I'm not sure. But then I'd also be releasing this in bytes so that if you have time for, let's say five minutes or eight minutes and you just want to go through one specific lecture about what is a flow, where can I use it? Let's you just work on one use case. So you can consume just that bit of it, of the video, right? That is the idea behind how I want to take this forward so that it is easily accessible and both bite-sized and long-sized in terms of uh, content uh, length. So Let's get started. Flows are something that Salesforce has been promoting like crazy. Workflows were here, they left us. Process builders were here and they are very soon going to leave us. So a lot of automation that Salesforce relied on, initial, on in the initial days are now being deprecated and now flow is the next level or the final nail on the coffin of automation that Salesforce provides, right? So when we talk about automation, what do we mean? We mean anything that can be automated. Now automation, automated, same words, right? So anything that you want done behind the scenes on the background without you having to intervene on it, or maybe something that you do not want to do manually is automation, right? And now this is the era of automation wherein we are delegating pretty much everything to things like Einstein GPT, chat GPT. So Flows is, is kind of a automation tool that lets you do everything that workflow rules let you do, process builders let you do, and much more beyond that, right? So let's jump into our curriculum. I have a good good set of uh, keynote prepared here for covering pretty much everything that you that we want to discuss. And as and when I keep going into the curriculum, I feel okay. This is something that I still want to add or maybe remove. We'll 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 do that uh, on ad hoc basis. Okay. So 